channel. Today I am here with a Q and a I I haven't done one of these since the very, very start of the year. And I saw in the comments someone asked for an updated Q&A. So I put on the community page, what questions would you like me to answer? And I've noted them all down on my phone. So if you put a question on there, don't worry, it's going to be answered. Just before we get into the video, let me show you all this new bag I have got from Teddy Blake. How cute is this? This is the perfect winter bag. It is adorable. Oh, it's gonna go with so many outfits, being this black and creamy colour fur. So, Teddy Blake makes classy bags, but they are aimed at the younger generation and they are at an affordable price. This is so cute. I'm going to use this today. You can actually smell the leather and feel the premium quality of it. It is amazing. It's premium Italian leather. Ooh la la. This bag is honestly a little work of art. You can tell Teddy Blake is a luxury brand from how much detail and effort they've put into this little bag. And it's a really cool, imaginative design. I haven't saw a little bag like this before, but now I've got one of a kind. Woo woo! I can tell this is going to last a lifetime. Very durable, extremely well made. I can't recommend Teddy Blake enough. So if you would like to treat yourself to a luxury, premium leather quality bag at an affordable price, make sure you head on over to Teddy Blake and treat yourself or a loved one, because I promise you, you won't regret it. And you will be seeing me style this on Instagram and YouTube shorts and TikTok, so make sure you check it out. Now, anyway, let's get back into the video. First question I was asked was, how many places, countries, I guess, have I traveled to? In my lifetime, I've been to Spain, lots of different parts of Spain. To the Balearic Islands and Canary Islands class of Spain. If so, that's still one then, isn't it? Been to lots of parts of Greece. Been to Cuba, France. I had to write them all down so I thought I'm not gonna be able to see it on the spot. Uh, Wales, obviously. I haven't been to Scotland though, or Ireland yet. Portugal, Poland, Malta, the Netherlands. Bulgaria and Turkey. So 11 countries altogether, not including England, obviously. That doesn't sound like a lot, does it? I need to expand. How many countries is there in the world? A lot more than 11 anyway. <laughs> so I need to get my travel on. And then I was asked, what has been my favorite vacation out of all of them? Well, I've loved all of them, so they've all been with different people. I love family holidays, friend holidays, they all have different vibes. Overall, if I had to pick one, maybe Cuba, just because it was my first like long haul flight away. Like it was so much different to all the European places that I've been to. And it was just great, so hot, the food was lovely, the people were lovely, and I just got had so many new experiences and I really enjoyed that. There is a Cuba vlog, me and Katie went to it, so if you want to watch the Cuba vlog, you can. <laughs> I was also asked in the same question, what new places do I want to visit? Definitely Mexico. Oh, I really want to go to Mexico. I really want to go to Jamaica and I really want to go to the US. So maybe, hopefully 2024, they will all be ticked off my bucket list. I just got to find people to go with, man. Next, someone asked, do I enjoy doing my videos and my vlogs? I do, 100%, otherwise I'm not being funny, I wouldn't do them. I love reviewing clothes for you guys. Okay, I clearly don't enjoy the exercise videos quite as much because they do kill me off, but need it for my health, don't I? The only part I'd say I don't enjoy is right now in the cold, like it is cold. It takes so much like energy to drag myself out of bed into the coldness. Next question is, am I still going to the gym? Uh, <laughs> I have not been going consistently. Oh, I'm just such a loser, guys, I'm such a loser. I do go once a week, not much is it, but I mean, it's something. 
So it's actually on a Wednesday, which is today. So I'm going to go at six o'clock, go do a circuit class, what well, it's called sweat class. So lots of cardio, uh, lots of legs and arms. I'm really going to try to get on my gym grind. But the only, I'll be honest with you guys, the only thing putting me off is all my friends that go to the gym and stuff, like, we'll go on holiday for one week and they'll be like, I can see, like, I've lost my gains already. You lose all the work you put in. It's like, what? That really makes me not want to even start. Can't lose what I didn't already have. <laughs> next question is, when is my next high heel haul? Woo! -woo. I haven't got like an official date or anything yet, but I've done two heel hauls, haven't I? So a third, if you want a third, please comment down below and I will get that done for you because I've got so many heels, I could dress like 10 octopuses, seriously. This is an interesting question now. I didn't expect this sort of question to come up. Um, someone said, how do I feel about charities for children over the holidays? Well, I think they're really useful because obviously there's a lot of families struggling and the cost, Cosy Lizzie crisis is just through the roof at, at the moment, isn't it? And I don't think it's even going to get any better, to be honest. I don't know what the government's doing. They're just raising the prices of goddamn everything. Every kid deserves a good Christmas at the end of the day. So just buy, say, a present. Like, oh, a kid might like this. And then you just go put it in this... Um, Random box, I think it's outside like supermarkets and stuff and then they send them off to children who need them. That's lovely. I donate to a few different charities every month. Uh, my most recent one I started donating to is Make, is it Make a Wish? They ask, is it terminal, children with terminal illnesses, that what their one wish is and they make that happen. I think that's just... That's just wonderful. So I donate to that every month. I also donate to Cancer Research. And I turn out to one other one. Yeah, I can't remember what it is. But the same person also asked, uh, would I make a charity myself with the help of subscribers for children? That is such a nice idea. And if my subscribers were down to donate towards charity cause, I would definitely be open to that. But I don't know whether I'd like to just do it for children. I think I'd like to do it a bit more specific. Either a charity for autism awareness or something autism related. Or something to do with dogs like stray dogs, homeless dogs. Because my baby was a rescue so... Oh, she out of here. I just out of the business and she was like... Please let me know in the comments below if that's something you would be down for because... We could do that. I think I don't think it's hard to add something. I could literally add it on every little video. So yeah, please let me know. <laughs> I like this question. Someone asked, what is my favourite pot noodle? Mm. You know what? Pot noodle is so processed, but you just can't beat a pot noodle sometimes, can you? I think my favourite one is quite a plain Jane chicken and mushroom. Can't go wrong. I love the soy sauce. I love the sweet corn in it. Is a sweet corn in it? I do just make that up. If there's not sweet corn in it, there should be sweet corn in it. There's about a thousand different flavours now, so honestly, I probably haven't even tried all the pot noodles. <laughs> Pretty sure I answer this question in every single Q&A, but we'll answer it again. Someone asked what happened with the other Katie. So we just kind of grew apart, we just grew up and apart at the same time, like we decided to take different paths. And that really tight school friendship that we had kind of just faded. It's really sad to think about, to be honest, but um, it's life, isn't it? Plus, as are me and Katie still cool? Yeah, there's no bad blood between me and Katie. We just don't really, we don't talk anymore. We don't, no, we don't really contact each other full stop, to be honest. Someone asked, what is my weight and my height? My weight, last time I checked, was like two, three weeks ago. Nine stone nine. Don't know how much that is in kilos. I want to say like 62 kilos or something. I'm prepared for the fat comments. Don't worry. There's one person on my TikTok that won't friggin' piss off. They're commenting every single one of my TikToks saying, Oh, you put on some weight. Oh, are you this big yet, Katie? Oh, you're going to be massive. Blah, blah, blah. Like, mate. Literally, 
Okay. <laughs> if anyone's got any spare time, if you want to go on my TikTok, username here, and uh, reply back to the hate comments for me, you're more than welcome to back me up. <laughs> so my height is five foot zero. I think it's like five foot zero. I'm not five foot one. I think I'm halfway between five foot zero and five foot one. Someone also asked, how am I so fine? Thank you. <laughs> I don't have a boyfriend. You know what? Because boys are just useless. Men are useless. I think this generation's just lost, to be honest. I, um, I don't want to get myself involved with it. I've never had a boyfriend. Uh, I've never made it past the talking stage. Boys aren't serious. They're just not serious at all. The whole generation is not serious. Everyone cheats. Social media makes it too easy for everyone to be unloyal, disloyal, whatever. So, I don't know whether I'll ever even have a boyfriend, to be honest. But I'm okay with that. It's whatever. My mum thinks I'm going to be one of those people that is going to like live her life, travel to all these countries when I'm young, and then in my like late 20s, I'm going to bump in someone and it's going to be my soulmate. Who knows, maybe, hopefully my mum will be right, you never know. And other people asking, am I single? So yes, I am super duper friggin' single. <laughs> Someone asked, what is my favourite food? Mm, mm, mm. What is my favourite food? Damn. I love steak, oh my god. If we're going out to a nice restaurant, just know I'm getting steak. Fillet, steak, peppercorn sauce, yes. <sighs> love steak. But I also love garlic prawns, like if they had a prawn starter, I'll be there for it. And I also love chicken wings. So if we went out for a meal, I'll probably order all that. Because that's all my favourite. I could never be a vegetarian, you know. I just love meat too much. I can't help myself. It just tastes so good. I love meat. I love garlic prawns. I love chicken wings. The saucier the wings are better as well. Oh, I want to get messy. I want to be like... Have them all up my face and then be like licking it off like that. Yeah, I love saucy chicken wings. I love sauce. I love sauce. I, could, I have sauce of like every meal. What are red flags or what do I think red flags are? So this is hard because I don't really put myself in that situation. And if I do, I'm kind of like oblivious because I feel like because I've never had a boyfriend, I haven't had any experience, is, so I don't know what to look out for, what's not good, you know what I mean? Like sometimes in the past I've told my friends like, oh blah 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 is doing this, especially boys and they'll be like, yeah, no, like he doesn't want you or something or yeah, he's not serious or whatever and I'm like, oh, how can you tell? Well, red flags I would say, not liking dogs. <laughs> If you don't like dogs, you're definitely, definitely, definitely not for me, are you? Red flags. Maybe like replying like once a day. But then again, sometimes I do that because I'm so freaking lazy and don't like to reply. So now I've just called myself a red flag. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Put me on the spot here. Yeah. I can't even think. Another question Do I have another job aside from YouTube and social media? The answer is no, I do not. When I finished sixth form, or when I was 18, I wanted to go into mechanical engineering. And then COVID happened. I was in my interview phases. I got down to like the last 50 people or something. And COVID happened, obviously all shut down. The company, the specific company I wanted to work for got rid of all their apprentices. And then I was like, damn, that's a goner then. And then obviously through lockdown, I just focus on YouTube and stuff. If I can afford not to, I don't want to get a nine to five. I, I enjoy being my own boss. I hate being bossed around. I used to have a job at a fish and chip shop and the boss was just so horrible. I don't want to put myself through that. I don't want that negativity, okay? <laughs> Final question is, have I had any unexplainable supernatural events happen to me? I love this girl so much. I 
love her. My baby girl. Anyway, um, yeah, supernatural events. So, me and my best friend Aisha, as you know, you've seen her in some videos, ordered food before. We didn't sit down to eat straight away. I forgot what we was doing. But like 10 minutes later or something, we're like, oh yeah, let's sit down and eat now. So we've opened the bag. She's opened the stapled shut bag and she's like, oh, Katie, you never guess what they give us. And I'm like, oh my God, I don't know. What have they give us? And then she pulls out a jar of jalapenos. And I was like, they gave us a whole jar of jalapenos. We love jalapenos. So we was like, yeah, wow. Best takeaway ever. And then I was like, oh my God. I was like, I looked at, I was looking at John. I was like, oh my God, they're from Aldi. I was like, no way. They have jalapenos from Aldi as well. I looked in the cupboard. They weren't in the cupboard anymore. Somehow these jalapenos had got into the staple bag. Crazy. We was absolutely baffled. We have told so many people about this. It is unexplainable. You never guess what. My mum's boyfriend actually paid a prank on us and didn't tell us about it for like five months. <laughs> so we have told so many people about this supernatural event of jalapenos appearing. And it was just my mum's boyfriend playing a prank. Prankster! <laughs> but no, a real one. I keep all my shoes underneath my bed and I have these boots with chains on them. And one of the boots, the chain has just disappeared. I literally got everything out from underneath my bed. Gone. Random little things go missing. Some tweezers went missing. Like, I'm telling you, they've been missing. What is it now? December. I haven't found them since before July. They turned up the other day in Pumpkin's bed. What? Just sitting on top of Pumpkin's bed. Weird. Really weird. I don't know, we watched this film before where there was this man that lives in the walls and his name was James. So me and Aisha always joke that we have a James and he just pranks us all the time for a laugh. The realest supernatural experience I would say I had is... Ooh, when I was younger, do you remember the Kinect on the Xboxes where it like picks you up? I was playing just dance with my friend pretty late at night and we was doing the... Hey, ha, hey, na, 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 <laughs> That. We was doing that and we turned around and when we turned back to the front, the connector picked someone up and you can see like their outline in the middle of us and it was like a short like child and we was like, what in the world? Literally ran out of the room screaming, screaming, got my mum, I was like, mum, there's someone downstairs, blah, blah, She come down expecting someone to sit on the sofa. When we come down, it had gone. How scary is that? We was like fighting to get out of the door, we was that scared. <laughs> and that same night we was really scared um, to go to sleep. And when we was upstairs, I had like painting that I had done in school and it fell off the wall and it was above my bed, it fell off the wall onto us. I know. And also, I don't know whether I brought the same ghost from my old house to this house because Pumpkin's ball, where is it? This exact ball. This is Pumpkin's most favourite ball in the whole wide world. Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Yes, she is. She's going to catch it for you guys now. Oh, my God. Me and Aisha were downstairs in the kitchen, and I think Pumpkin was in the living room, and we heard this ball bounce across the landing upstairs. No one else was in the house. Pumpkin was down here. Really, really weird. So, yeah, that was my supernatural experience. I'm alone in the house now and I'm getting myself a bit terrified. So we will wrap it up here. <laughs> Thank you all ever so much for watching. If you feel like I should have answered different questions, more questions, let me know. I might do another one in a couple months if that would interest you. In the description box below, you will find all my social medias. And remember to like, comment and subscribe if you're new here because we just got to know each other so well. I will see you all next week anyway. Bye!